This is the best BSD863 hot air station. And this is the same model that I modified with my own board and firmware. Let me start by explaining why I decided to take this route. I got this station about a year ago, but I wasn't really impressed by the interface and some other annoyances that I'm sure you are well aware if you have the same station. Now that the station is on, you are left wondering what the temperature and blower are set to. And the only way to find out is to press the set button. The same happens when you press one of the button channels. Although a touch interface might seem like a modern and clean choice, it really isn't very practical, especially if it isn't well implemented. Once again, every time you change the temperature you get a loud beep and there is also no increase in the step or velocity making it very slow, inefficient and even deafening to get to the desired temperature. If you use Fahrenheit as your temperature unit, you might be surprised by the values shown while the station is cooling down, and this setting is also not stored anywhere, so every time you turn the station on you have to change the unit again. Now I present to you this station. As you can see it boots up very fast, with no annoying beep. It is exactly the same model, but I replaced the original board with my own board and firmware. The first thing you notice are these two potentiometers. In my opinion a tool should be easy and fast to control, and this is why I decided to add these, as they allow you to set the temperature and blower in a blink of an eye. I always display the currently set values, which makes it more practical and seems to make a lot more sense to me. There are three ways to set the temperature and blower. Each is represented by either a letter or a number in front of this channel indication. P stands for potentiometer, T stands for touch and 1, 2 or 3 stand for the respective button. You can save the current configuration in a button by long pressing it. If you have one button selected and you press the same button again, it changes to the potentiometer channel. But no matter which channel you are currently in, you can always just rotate any of the knobs to change the respective value, temperature or blow speed, leaving the other one unchanged. Even though I probably won't use the touch interface much, I still made sure to implement it and make it a bit less annoying to use as I made the steps to be either 5 for a single touch or I repeat a 10 for a long touch. This allows for a faster change. I also made sure to make this silent as it only beeps for a single touch or when reaching the limits. Even so, if you want, you can easily completely disable the buzzer by long pressing the set button and re-enable it again the same way. The timer function works like on the original board just a bit less confusing to set. Any value higher than 0 means the timer is on, 0 means it is off, which is also represented by the written off under the clock icon. If the timer is on, it starts counting down as soon as the set point is reached, and the heater is turned off when it reaches 0 seconds. With the timer off, it continuously counts up as soon as the set point is reached. You can toggle between temperature units anytime and you don't get random hexadecimal values like with the original board. All the settings are stored to flash, so when you turn the station on you are welcomed by whichever values and settings you set before. This includes the temperature unit, selected channel and values, buzzer setting, calibration value and serial output. The calibration value is the difference in temperature between the thermocouple reading and the actual temperature of the air that comes out of the nozzle. You can configure this by long pressing the unit button and increase or decrease the value with the up and down buttons. 
In this mode, the temperature shown is the actual reading from the thermocouple, so you can calibrate more precisely. The change takes effect in real time. To save, just long press the unit button again. Since the board has USB, which allows you to flash it very easily with the Arduino IDE, I also decided to add a function that can send any variable you would want over serial to your computer. To activate this, you just need to long press any of the two arrow keys. While on, RS232 on is displayed on the screen. You can disable it the same way. This could be very useful if you want, for example, to overlay the station values on OBS to display in a video or stream without the need for a secondary camera to be pointed at the station's display. I'm currently printing the set temperature and blower, as well as the real temperature, with a refresh rate of half a second. But the code is open source, so you can modify this or any other part as you wish. The board uses a 32-bit microcontroller and has a few unused pins that I broke out so you can easily expand it. Should there be a malfunction with the thermocouple, the station will turn the blower to full and display an easy to understand error. The same happens if for some reason the temperature gets above a preset value. I will sell this board on my Tindy store, the sticker for the potentiometer section is also included. I currently have about 15 in stock, but if there is interest I will source all the components to build more. You might think that the price is a little high, but unfortunately due to the chip shortage, most components are very expensive and hard to source at this time. I will upload an how-to video of the installation process very soon. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave it in the comment section below. Have fun!